Oh, 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 hey, I dye my hair jet black, jet black. Mm. and my shirt jet black. jet black, ain't got no music in the back, mm. Mm, 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 mm. I got all my jet black, mm, mm. I like a jet black, mm, mm. we you know, know you like it like that, that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Belly making it, belly, belly making it, belly making it, belly making it, belly, belly making it, 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 Begging it. Begging it. Begging it. What's up? What's up? Vlog number. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Girl got a natural hair out the day. Girl, doing let your puff fly. Because see, what society wants you to do is be perfect. And we're not, which brings us to our topic. I don't know how to do the edge. What is the edge? You know, I don't know how to do the baby. Girl, my edges are just so big. My edges just looking like the only thing that they looking like. Only thing that can control my edge is the word of God. Do you hear me? <laughs> Nothing yes. else. That's why I'm a dread that now. <laughs> I'm about to go dread. Don't dread. You, everybody's a dread. Anything you dread to do <laughs> makes you a dread. <laughs> I dread to clean up the day. I this dread is to the corniest <laughs> person I know. <laughs> oh, we're saying it wrong too. Locks. It is locks. The, those are locks. We don't have crazy. time to get into why dread is a derogatory statement term. It's incorrect. Whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, these are locks. Man, let's start with the with the with the. Okay, so this is vlog number two. Number two. We thank you guys for all of the feedback for um the teaser yeah. and vlog, vlog number, number one. one. It was so heartwarming and we have so many topics. So we want to jump in and drop the vlogs. So today we're gonna be talking about insecurities. And we're gonna talk about how insecurities can change your life, how they change the people around you. Yeah. And things that you can do to help you with your insecurities, even if you have overcome them, like Asher. And if you're still dealing with them, like me. But not to say, if you've overcome an insecurity that you don't have, things that pop up. Yeah, because sometimes situations yeah, will, will spark yeah. insecurities. Got yeah, you, you, you think you over that and you be like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Now, wait. Hold on, now. You're taking me back now. I'm doing a... Oh, 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 oh. There will always be dancing in these vlogs. Because we just like to dance and have fun. Yeah. And Let even me... though we, we, we live, we're dealing with real life, but... You got to. I'm going to start it. I'm going to kick it off. Got this smile from crying. Low key, we started this vlog three times because we, we can't did. get it right. And we just don't want to be rambling. And sometimes we ramble. We ramble. Anyway, I'm going to start it off. So here's the thing. Here's the tea. What's the tea? The tea is I have an insecure tea. <laughs> <laughs> No, for real. No, so for my real. biggest insecurity in life, I am comfortable with this beautiful dark skin God gave me. And it's pretty. Thank you so it's much. It's beautiful. I like my gap. You know, most people be like, I need to fix my gap. Nah. That's you. That's what makes you unique. Right? Mm -hmm. I have one major insecurity. Obviously, I'm not a size two. <laughs> Why did you, how do you do Because that? if this was like edited already, they would see, mm, mm, mm. we're going to put that in there. Anyway, so my biggest insecurity is my weight. Why? Shocker. Um, so this is why it's my biggest insecurity. This is a true story, guys. I have a twin brother. Shouts out to Derek. Token Miami. Go yes, follow them. Go get you some shoes. So I have a twin brother. We were little, and I really did not know that I was bigger than him. This is true, because I used to play with him. And I remember vividly playing with my brother, my father introducing us to some random woman, and she's going... They're twins, but he's so small and she's so big. Take no, my life she, like that. She tried. Girl, I should have slapped her, but I was little. Anyway. I'm going to go back in your childhood and slap, slap her for you. That's that's what friends do. Yeah. They go back to stuff they wasn't even a part right. of. And they regularly. Who says that's her kid? <laughs> but listen, she did that. And then in fifth grade, I had a dance. She tell me you're too big to dance. It has always been a thing. I don't care how pretty I am, talented, smart, what I do for people, the relationships I've ended up in, this thing is heavy. Literally, it is heavy. It is always an issue. It is always But time. is it an issue with people or has it become an issue for you within yourself? So I think because it is a big issue with people, it's become an even bigger issue with me. And because there is always a tag in front of everything I do. Man, you're so pretty for a big girl. Um. Oh, look at the big girl dancing. It doesn't matter that I'm training jazz, tap, ballet. Nobody cares. And you know what? It kind of reminds me of how I get labeled about my mom. Yeah. The, oh, that's Betty Wright's daughter. Mm -hmm. Or um, she can sing. She mm -hmm. should be able to sing because that's Betty Wright's daughter. Oh, well, I know a lot of people 
the parents sing. Yeah. And, and they, they don't sound good. They don't sing. Yeah. And why do I have to be attached to that just to be me? Yeah. Just to be my keyboard. And, and securities, I feel a lot of times, it's a learned behavior, number one. It is. And securities are a learned behavior. You have no idea that this is something you should be insecure about until society or people, not you know, your day to day around they highlight people, them, highlight your insecurities, yeah. and how does it affect you? I've gone through things where I have allowed myself to be used, especially by men, because I don't think that it's it's important for me to feel, you know, like a princess because I'm not built like a princess, built like a queen, not necessarily like a princess, built exactly. Like but you know, I'm not going through that now. Shouts out to Bay. I love you. Um, but did you just move? I did. I don't know. It was like a half heart. We love you. He caught it. Um, <laughs> but honestly, I feel like we don't talk about it enough. I feel like the more, the more that we talk about it, the easier it would be to deal with it. And also, I tend to do this thing where I'll point out my insecurities to you before you get a chance right. to. I'll say something. And that's, a, that's why I said, yeah. is it is it big for you or is it big for them? It becomes it becomes an attachment to you. Yeah. And you're attached to it now. Yeah. You know, I dealt with skin issues my whole life. Um, my skin is not the prettiest as I have cover-ups right now. I suffer from really bad acne. Mm -hmm. I suffer from uh, risings. Um, and I'm just showing you because this is, I'm not bound by this. Yeah. But this has been an insecurity of mine that I've, you know, dealt with and I'm, you know, getting through it day to day. And um, it's a struggle sometimes just not having the makeup to cover it and different things like that. And of course, I've heard people say, oh, you're so pretty to me and you look so nice. And it is like, but how long does it take a person to feel that way? Yeah. How long does it take a person to get dressed? Yeah. Like you're not thinking about the, that process. Yeah. You know, and um, it's okay that you think that I am, but how do I feel about me when yeah. I look in the mirror? How do you feel about you when you look in the mirror? Yeah. That's what matters most. That's the only thing that's gonna help you. And and that and, and to be honest with you, it reflects. Yeah. You know, you can walk around smiling, but it people tend to feel that vibe and that energy yeah, when it's not, it you know, it's not authentic. Yeah. You get you get stuck right there, and then you you come up with things. I've had to check myself with this numerous times in my relationship where it's like um and don't, if you say you don't do this women okay you lie maybe it's just you but you lie okay. when you can see you know women like to go like you know i know he's a man he's gonna look but when your man sitting there staring at something that don't look nothing, nothing like you nothing like you it's a problem it's a problem i'm letting you know that it's a problem and i get a lot of women that go oh no he comes home and he comes home with you but he also he looking at somebody else yeah. and man yeah. i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put it out there you guys like variety you do you, you, you say you got a tight but you you, you just be you just be <laughs> Your eyes just be doing a wonder, a wonder, a wonder, a Stevie Women wonder. Women do too. We, we don't want to get smashed. I, I, and I'm Women not, I'm not going to be a male basher. Because I remember they, they used to say that about my mama talking about she's a male basher. But she, she helped all y'all out in y'all relationships. Because every time I go to one or two people, girl, I had my child off your song. If you know your mama really helped me get <laughs> bottom roses for that girl and whatever. So, but be honest. Y'all all have looked. The other way, and it wasn't your mate. Yeah, and it's a thing. Women are men. Women and men are attracted to each other. Yeah. Opposites attract. But let's be clear and let's be real. If you're with somebody, let's be with them. Yeah. Let's keep your focus on them. And if you told this person that this was your type, let let's try to keep it in the type zone. <laughs> well, you know, I think honestly, I think it's such a, it's a hard thing for people to change habits. You yeah, know, they and, it's, preach and not only here's the really the flip side of it since we're talking about insecurities, it's easy to say my significant other kind of looks if you're with your girl and she look at a muscle bound dude and you skinny, or if you're with your woman and you look like a big booty, you looking at a big booty girl with a small waist and you, your girl got a big booty but the waist ain't so small. Well, right. so, um, <laughs> you know, it can send you into a place, but let's be honest. We look at those things, too, without our mate even saying anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a thing for us to go, who would be calling me? Doing Are you going to answer the phone? Don't no, 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 I'm not going to answer don't the phone. Don't answer him. We not. don't even know who that I is. I don't even know who that is. But listen, so 
Um, yeah, I think uh, it could be a very touchy subject, and I've I've learned that a lot of times my insecurities have allowed me to be um, misused. I've let people treat me any way they wanted to. No longer though. Yeah, we, no we're longer. not doing that. Anything we talk about here, I want by the end of this vlog. I'm, I'm telling you, by the end of this vlog, I want y'all to be looking at yourself like I'm that. I'm I'm the prize in the cracker jack box. But maybe not the Cracker Jack. Maybe I can use something else. But I like Cracker Jack. But you know it was always a prize in that. And I, you, how you wait for the prize. Yeah. Or you just dump it out just to get to the prize. You you have to you walk the in that. You, yeah. you the golden ticket. Yeah. So we want y'all to do something for us. Because we have to do it for ourselves. You literally, I hide from mirrors a lot. But since we're working, I want you to go somewhere. Get a mirror. In a mirror. Look at your... Even... Get naked if you have to. Yeah. I usually so sometimes, get naked. Yeah, get naked if you have to. Whatever you have to do to get you to that place where mm -hmm. you feel as comfortable as you can, do it. Do it today. Do it when you get yeah. a moment of your own time and find take a, it all yeah. in. And find the beautiful it. things that you like about yourself. And build. build find on things that. that you don't like about yourself. Like me, I always, Asha had to say to me last week, you're going to spend your whole life trying to lose that weight when you should be living and trying to yeah. be healthy. Make sure you're healthy. Make sure, Make sure you're, you're healthy. healthy. Make sure you're doing what you love. Make sure the person that you're with loves you for who you are. Yes. And if you make the decision to change who you are. Let it be for you. For you. Because let me tell you some real tea. I, at one point in my life, lost like 125 pounds. A whole body. I was. A whole body. Snatch. If you say a rude comment, I'm coming for you and your mama. Yeah. I we was. coming for you. We do that. Snatched. And I got time. Look. I got time. <laughs> so I was snatched. The best shape of my life. The most unhappy I've ever been. Wow. Because I said to myself, this is for me. First of all, really what happened was somebody broke my heart. I wanted to get back in him. And then I told myself, oh, it's, it's for me to be healthy. No lie, when I lost that weight, I put on the sexiest dress I could find. Knocked on the door. Do, 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 do. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Later on, he low key ruined the rest of my life. <laughs> he ruined, <laughs> he ruined oh me. No, he, did. he caused so many problems. And even this time, I started on another weight loss journey, dropped 20 pounds. Whenever I'm an emotional eater, shouts out to emotional eaters, you're not alone. I'm an emotional eater. And me, eater. I don't eat at all. Yeah, when you're, you're emotional, something happens to me, I can be on a tough journey like yo I lost 20 pounds something happens to me traumatic it's over. it's over and now I'm getting to the point where it's like you know my boyfriend just said to me the other day um are you doing it for the right reasons because you told me you were you told me you started your journey again for the right reasons it can't be for me and that matters it matters you're you not gonna go as hard it's yeah. not gonna be it's not gonna have the same meaning that yeah. it had when you was doing it for you anytime you do something to be people pleasing it doesn't work out. Because how long, how long can you make up? You can't. How and I kept, I kept the weight off for like a year or two. And I met, not only, I attracted some people I never thought I would. I um, was okay, still okay. in a different relationship. But not only that, people really started to, oh, you you changed. You different. No, 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 because they beat you changing. They, beat they think you that you're going to change, so they... They change before you. You be like, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Yeah. No, and people change. Now, one thing about people that they're not going to tell you is they're okay with you being insecure. Oh, yeah. But let you get some confidence. Lord have mercy. You, she got a problem. She That's doing it. too much. No, you have been doing too much. Listen. That's the problem. Take those insecurities. Face those insecurities. Wrap them up. Tell them to a friend. Find somebody that's going to work with it. If Ashley said, my skin is going crazy, I'll go... I have fairly good skin. I go try and she this brought friend. some new foundation. Try away. this friend. Yes. This is what you should do. Man, I'm really sick of this weight. DJ, you got to stop emotional eating. And you got to have people around you that's honest enough. And, and you, I, it ain't about being a yes man. It's yeah. somebody that's being real with you and real. saying, listen, slow down. Mm -hmm. Let's think this thing through. What's really going on? Yeah. What, is the, what is the underlining? What's the root? What, what, what's underneath this? Yeah. What's underneath the layers? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you really feel it. And we're talking, we're dealing with insecurities because all of us have them. Yeah. And if you haven't discovered what yours is, you it's will. coming. You will. And some insecurities don't last forever. Yeah. And some things you battle with for the rest of your life. Like this, I had to realize that this is a thing. Mm-hmm. 
this is a thing. A so time. how do I deal with it? Yeah. I feel I feel beautiful. Yeah. I feel beautiful. I know my skin is going crazy this week, but I feel beautiful. Yeah. Like I walked out of the house, I was like, hmm, it's a good day. Yep. Makeup went way. on lovely and I'm feeling good. So And you gotta have people around you that boost you up too. Yeah. I walked by my man the other day, he said, You fine. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes baby. Yes, babe. <laughs> Make me feel this way. Yes. And, and then I, my skin, I didn't even used to wear um, uh, shorts. shorts. Yep. And, baby, I put me on some shorts. It's, su it's summertime. It's hot outside. And, and guess what my husband said? You looking good, babe. That's all we you need. Look good. I'm like, I do. And, and they don't have to be your mate. I, sometimes I see that show, I be like, girl, you look good. You look good. Yes, I'm like, you are so pretty to me. Listen, take those insecurities. Wrap Face those insecurities. Wrap, wrap them up. up. Deal with those insecurities. Know that everybody has insecurities. My twin brother You're told not me the only one. The most solid thing I've ever heard in my life. One time I said, How do I look in this outfit? He said, Deidre, I'm going to tell you something. It changed the way I dressed. I kid you not. He said, When you walk into a room, 95% of the people sitting in there are going, Oh my God, I hope I look okay. Oh my God, I hope they don't see this blemish. I hope Devin. they don't see. Because he dropped those nuggets. That was a nugget. Again, for real. Tokyo, Miami. Follow him. Get them but shoes. He dropped those nuggets. He said, confidence is key. You walk into a room, know that 95% of the people sitting there going through the same thing you are. They're just not going to say nothing. And confidence is the best thing you yes, definitely it is. can put on. The That's sexiest the sexiest thing. It's, it's the best thing you can put on. And, and even, um, even when you don't feel really, really good. Yeah. Go put on the best dress you got. Yeah. Do Go something. put on the best pair of shoes you got and walk out that door and say, you know what? I'm taking on the day. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a good day. Yeah. I'm gonna feel good. You gotta call things to your to your Do atmosphere. Something. Yeah. yeah. I changed low key last night. I was having a week of like, oh I said, Asha, I'm gonna dye my hair. Dye my hair jet black. I feel sexy. It's done and done. It's done and done. Do what you gotta do to make you feel good. And you have to. And make sure you keep good people around. Good people. Good people. Good people. Good people. I'm, I'm going to say that again. Keep good people around you. It's a no negativity zone. That, that's what you got to. Yeah. Positive gotta, vibes only. Positive vibes only. And we all barely making it. Why you did that body roll? I, no, because, you know, I just feel like they can't see what I'm working with over here. Barely. But we barely making it. But we making it, y'all. We, we making, making it. it. That's what's Don't up. forget that. We are making it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll follow. And tell us what y'all want Three. us to talk about. Yeah. Us. Ask us questions. Don't be shy. Follow us at Makiba Grace on, on Facebook. Facebook. And, and follow our channel. Barely making it on YouTube. We love y'all. We out. Peace. Uh -huh.